I'm going to show you how to change the blades in your Flowbee. Now if your Flowbee has been made 15 years ago or sooner, then this probably applies to your Flowbee. All of the parts that are sold on the Flowbee website right now are for the Flowbees that say Flowbee.com right here on the blade cover. If it does, then the parts sold on the website apply to you. So let's get started. You're going to need two tools, maybe just one, and that's the 3 seconds Allen wrench, but also a flat tip screwdriver which comes in handy, especially if you have large fingers. Here we go. We have five screws, one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to remove all of those screws, and I'm going to keep my thumb right here pressed down so that this blade cover doesn't come off by itself. The five screws are out and I'm going to lay them up here on my white napkin. And I'll show you why in just a moment. Let the pressure off slowly. You'll be able to remove the blade cover. So all the parts are loose in here now and you've got the top bushing right here. We're going to lift that out. And that's this plastic piece and I'm going to keep this oriented and lay it on my napkin which I'll show you here in just a moment and I'm going to take these out in order because that's going to help me put the new pieces back in order. Next I have the top blade and that comes out and I'll set it down and then the bottom blade. One thing to note the blades have oil grooves in them and you can see a channel right here, both sides of the blade. The other blade has the same channels and these oil grooves face each other when the blade is assembled. When you remove the bottom blade, it's got an elongated plastic bushing in here and you're going to want to turn the cam so that it's in line with the bushing itself just about like that and that will make this bottom blade come out a lot easier and now I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver just to use to pick that up and there it is there's a bushing that goes inside this blade this square area here and sometimes that stays with the blade sometimes it comes off so if it comes off it's just sitting right around those those two cams and I can lift that off just like this and I'll show you here how that matches up I can put those back in there back together and it's stuck and then I'm gonna set this aside as well now we've got the bottom bushing and the bottom bushing actually covers the six springs so just do this part slowly so you don't have springs coming out everywhere. You're going to replace those anyway and the springs come in the new kit. Anyhow, it comes up just like that. Very easy. Now if you take a look, we got six springs. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and we'll remove each one of those. I use the tip of the flathead screwdriver to stick it in there in the spring just lightly. Put my finger on it and they come right out. So now we have the blade assembly out. You can see down inside the hollow head of the Flowbee. There is the motor down there which attaches to the cam and all your hair gets sucked up through there and goes out through the handle. This is the replacement blade set and it says apply three to four drops of Flowbee oil directly onto the blades before each haircut. Let me show you how I set it up for replacing the blades. I want to show you what I was doing with the paper towel. So what I did was, I removed the screws first, then the blade cover, then the top bushing, then the top blade, then the bottom blade, and then the bottom bushing, and then the springs. So I laid them out in the order that I took them out in, and they're oriented just the same. I didn't turn them sideways, I didn't flip them over, 
Everything's just like it came out of the Flowey. This is going to help me put the new parts in. So when you have your new kit, we're going to open it up and we're going to take the blade assembly out and we're going to keep it all sandwiched together. We're not going to let it fall apart at all. Just like that. So if I'm right, and I think I am, you've got on top, you've got your top bushing, and I'm going to lay it here and make sure that it's oriented just like the one I took out. Then I've got the top blade, and the oil grooves are facing down on the top blade, and these oil grooves that I showed you earlier are facing up on the bottom blade because when they're in the Floby they need to be facing each other and then I've got this bushing right here and I'm going to orient it exactly like the one I took out and then I should have six springs as well And I do, there's six springs there. So everything's matched up. I'm going to slide this out of the way and I'm going to put the springs in first and I'm just going to go in reverse order and lay it on top of each other and then put the, the blade cover in with the screws. Here we go. Six springs in these holes. Okay, the springs are in. Now it's time for the bottom bushing. Now the bottom bushing if you see, if you see here and here, that fits tight up against where the mounting holes are on the Floby. So it might be a little tight and you may hear a little snap and that's just fine. It actually helps hold those springs down. And you probably heard that. Springs are held down, the bottom bushings in place. Now it's time for the bottom blade. This plastic bushing is in that square area. The grooves are facing me. I'm going to put that down in there. Make sure the cams are lined up so that it goes easily in there and it falls right into place. You can kind of press that down a little bit. You have a little springy action with the uh, bottom bushing sitting on top of those springs. Then it's time for the top blade. On the top blade the oil grooves are facing down. And I'm going to put that on top here and align that. And that's in. It's fully seated. You can tell it's fully seated because the top of this plastic square bushing here is flush with the top of the cams. And it's time for the top bushing. I'm just going to lay that right over there. And again, that goes in very easy. It, it almost falls into place, but you can guide it. It's pretty easy. The bushing itself is flush with the um, area, the bolt plate, or the edge of the Floby itself. So I know that everything's seated really well right now. And now it's time for the blade cover. I'm going to lay that on top. And I can tell right now that the side of my Floby is flush. The two edges are flush. So everything's seated properly. And then we'll go ahead and put in the screws. And I'm going to put these screws in. I'm just going to start a couple of them right now. Just to keep the blade cover seated. And I'll tighten a few of these down. Not too tight, just snug. And I'll tell you why in a moment. And we're done. It's put back together. Now it's time to power it up and see if I installed it properly. And the Floby should sound just like it always sounds. If you turn your Floby on and it doesn't sound like normal, it sounds like it's working harder than it has to, or it doesn't sound like it's going at the same 
normal speed, it's probably because you've tightened down these screws just a little bit too much. So just loosen those a bit and the flow will be operating just fine. And we're done. Once you have these screws back in, put three to four drops of oil on your blades, run it just a bit, and you're ready for your next haircut.